Hey, it's Papa. Today I want to talk about what do you do if you cannot get toilet tissue? This is an issue that Grammy and I have been facing and a lot of people have been facing this issue. You put toilet tissue on your list on your Walmart pickup and when you go to get it, it there's none. So how do you what do you do? Well, this has been a fun thing for me because I'm always looking into minimalist ideas about all this stuff. So uh, I've tried several different things I want to sh share with you. There will be nothing gross going on. I know I'm not looking at the camera. Okay, there's the camera. Uh, several alternatives for you, and I'll show you everything I tried, and I'll show you what I recommend you do if you cannot get toilet tissue. Okay, the first thing I did was I started looking in the history books, and I focused on the Roman Empire, and you know what the Romans did? Yeah, they used a... <laughs> A sponge on a stick in vinegar solution, which was very practical back then. They used real sponges from the ocean, but I, you know, those are expensive today if you can even get them. So I bought a sponge and I put it on a stick. I just carved a stick. And see the shape of this stick? You got about a 45 degree angle there. You got a handle, and you put a 45 degree angle, and then you got your sponge. It's dripping because it's, it's been in <laughs> Clorox solution, but it's not gross. It's ne this one's never been used. So you know, you know, you can figure out what to do with the sponge on a stick. You use the sponge on a stick, and then you put it down in the Clorox mild Clorox solution, and you shake it around. And uh, next time you come around, you use it again. But so the Clark solution has to be pretty mild since it's going to be, you know, you're going to stick it in up your, never mind. Okay, that did not work for me. It's messy. Um, and depending on the consistency of what you do, it it can work okay or it can work not okay. If we're talking Tootsie Roll consistency, anything will work. If we're talking milkshake consistency or peanut butter Sponge on a stick is no good, so I imagine the Romans smelled pretty good back in them days. So pitch a uh, sponge on a stick. Next thing I tried was sponge not on a stick. So I cut a sponge into three smaller sponges. Let's put these right here. Can you see these three sponges? Three sponges to make them last longer. This is sponge on a stick, except the stick is your hand because... Uh, you know, you're used to doing this with your hands, and everybody's quite adept at this. They learn it. It's a skill they learn from early on in the PD stage. That's post diapers. <laughs> uh, but this doesn't work either. The sponge gets slimy, and it doesn't clean very well. It doesn't come clean very well. Plus, what, uh, if you if you don't want to reuse these sponges... Of course, you can't put this in your flush toilet. We don't have a flush toilet, but you can't put this in your flush toilet. So you got to throw this away. And, and a one sponge is too expensive. You cut it into three pieces. That's maybe three sessions. Then you got to have another sponge. So sponge on the stick, no sponge on the finger, no. Next thing I looked at was, can you tell why these are coffee filters? Okay, why coffee filters? Because you can get them at Walmart. People haven't figured out what you can use these coffee filters for. They're relatively cost-effective, and um, they work great. They work great. Now the question is, can you flush these? I don't know. I don't. I don't flush anything because I don't have a. All I have is a bucket, so somebody else will have to discover that. But you can, you can uh, drop them into a. Uh, like I use a protein powder container. And I keep it by my bucket, and you you know it's got a weak Clorox solution. And you can dump these used ones in there. When you shake it up, that'll kind of clean them off. But then, after you're done, you know, go in the yard or something, pour them out on the ground, let them sit there for a few days, and then throw them away, or or just uh, dump them out and put them in a garbage bag, something like that. If you don't want to flush them, uh, I com I can compost these. So that's a good solution. Here's another solution that Grammy and I have tried. Weird looking device. 
You don't want to know. Yeah, you do. This is a bidet. A bidet is a French word that means squirting water up your butt. That's a loose translation. Anyway, uh, you know, you can figure out how to do this. You you do you you after you're done, you go and everything's just wonderful. Now, if imagine this, you take a big spoonful of peanut butter and squirt this bidet thing on it about five times. You think you're going to get any action, clean cleaning action out of that? I didn't either. Tootsie Rolls, you're fine, but you're fine with anything on Tootsie Rolls. So the bidet thing doesn't work either. It's way, It uses water too. Uh, you could heat the water and make it more effective, but then you're using energy. So I didn't like that solution, but it's worth a try. So now you've waited for this. This secret method that works so fantastic. Don't tell anybody. I mean, don't tell anybody till you get stocked up. Okay. Here's the, here's the great solution that works fantastic. Whether you, whether you uh, have a flush toilet or a bucket. This is a two-inch square of old bath towel. Why bath towel? Bath towels are cotton. Cotton absorbs. That's what you want to do with cotton. You don't want to wear cotton. Never. It absorbs moisture, so it's just going to absorb moisture and sweat and hold it to your body. But it, in this case, like drying off after a bath or wiping something, it is perfect. Okay, so you use these two-inch squares. Here again, maybe... Another good thing about these is, you know, a toilet tissue can tear up while you're in the process of using. This stuff won't tear up. It's sturdy and strong, and so it works good. You put it, you, after you're done, you drop it down into your, into your protein powder bucket, and you shake it. You shake your bucket, put the top on it, shake it back and forth. And uh, after you do that, after maybe after a week or two days or one day or whenever... You've got, first of all, Clorox is in there, so it's germ-free, and most of the stain will be gone also because of the shaking process and the fact that Clorox takes out stains. You can handle this stuff. It's not a problem. Dump it out on the ground. Dump it out, you know, on the patio, wherever you want to. Uh, wear gloves. Put it in a plastic bag and throw it away. Now, I don't do... Okay, so if you do that, that's using it just like you would toilet tissue disposing of it we're not reusing any of this in our first system so I did the economics on it and based on my really poor mathematical calculating abilities I found out that you know you can get a hand towel at the dollar store for a dollar that will give you 70 of these squares let's just knock it down to 50 to be safe 50 of these squares and so Based on my usage of these squares, like three uh, uh, every time I go, which I don't use that many, but if you did, it turns out like this. With toilet tissue, you're going to spend uh, about $3 a week. With these towels, you're going to spend a dollar a week. And this is if you dispose of them instead of reusing them. But, now, if you're a minimalist, you reuse them. Does that gross you out? It doesn't gross me out because, number one, they go right into a Clorox solution, so there absolutely is no germs involved. When you shake that thing around, most of the stain comes out of them. Uh, about once a week, I take them out of there, squeeze them out real good. You can rinse them five times if you wanted to, and then lay them out in the sun to dry. And the ultraviolet lights of the, from the sun, as we have learned from COVID, uh, kills the heck out of germs, including the COVID virus. And then they're ready to go to be re reused in that. And, you know, you could use them for a month and then throw them away and get you a new towel. So that's a very efficient and effective way to do it. You don't have to worry about not having toilet tissue. I've heard other solutions people buy. Uh, nose tissues and things like that that work just fine. So, anyway, Papa says don't fret about toilet tissue. Go to the dollar store and buy a hand towel. All right.
Papa out.